Did you know Apple is quietly rewriting parts of iOS and it's not in Swift or Objective-C? Yeah, the low level guts of your iPhone, the memory managers, concurrency layers, the stuff you only hear about when your app crashes are being rebuilt with Rust style ideas. Now don't panic, Apple isn't about to force you to learn curly bracket ASCII art. Remember, this is the same company that moved us from imperative objective C to declarative Swift, but didn't switch to Prolog. They borrowed async slash await from C sharp years after it was mainstream, but when they shipped it, it felt like Apple had invented it. That's their playbook. Never first, but often smoother. So what's happening here? Apple engineers are clearly borrowing memory safety and concurrency tricks from Rust. Why? Because Swift, as good as it is, still sits on C and Objective-C duct tape. That's why you still see unexpectedly found nil errors in 2025. Swift cleansed the UI layer, but it can't fix the shaky foundations. Rust can, or at least Rust-inspired systems programming can. Apple gets the safety without the foot guns. And here's the key. Apple won't just drop Rust wholesale. They'll cherry pick its best ideas, simplify them, and bake them into Swift and the iOS stack. That way, you get the benefits. Fewer zero days, smoother concurrency, more stable frameworks, without needing to learn the borrow checker at 3 a.m. So what does this mean for you? Short term, nothing changes. You'll still write Swift UI views and rage at Xcode crashes. Long term, you might see Swift quietly evolve with Rust safety guarantees under the hood. The result? Faster apps, fewer random crashes, and system frameworks that feel less like duct tape and more like titanium. Apple's history is clear. They don't chase hype languages. They borrow, simplify, and ship something that actually works at scale. So while Rust fanboys are celebrating, the reality is Apple may be building a Rust-flavored Swift future. The takeaway, you don't need to become a Rust wizard overnight, but you do need to pay attention because the ground beneath Swift is shifting. And when Apple flips the switch, you'll want to be ready.